Sorry, don't worry about what I do in my spare time. Every year, science reveals new and exciting things about the world in fields like physics, geology, and the medical field. But many of the biggest discoveries are missed by traditional media and not widely publicized. And some of the most recent discoveries are absolutely huge. So since I'm definitely not traditional media, allow me to tell you what those discoveries are. Ah. Here are the 10 most amazing scientific discoveries you didn't know about. Number 10 is quantum entanglement. One of the biggest breakthroughs that happened in the realm of science seems like it should belong in a different genre, science fiction. In a move straight out of Star Trek, scientists have managed to beam something into space using something called quantum entanglement. Nah, Matt, you're silly. That sounds like teleportation. <laughs> That's what it is. The experiment originated in China, where photons were teleported from Earth's surface to an orbiting satellite 483 kilometers away. Now, why while it's likely that we're never going to see an actual person beamed up, at least in our lifetimes, the success of this experiment can actually change the entire way that we receive and send information. This could lead to quantum networks, including a global quantum internet. Experts claim this process is incredibly secure and almost completely unhackable, even with the use of a quantum computer. Okay, okay, but experts, because it's quantum computing, couldn't you consider to be not hacked as well? is hacked at the same time. Oh, mind buster. Number nine is a new continent. Up until 2017, it was thought that there are only seven continents and the country of New Zealand that simply rested on Australia's continental shelf. However, a recent discovery made public by the Geological Society of America has revealed that the Kiwi Nation, alongside New Caledonia and other islands in the area, are actually situated on their very own. Dubbed Zealandia, this new continent was once a more exposed landmass, but over millions of years, it sank into the ocean. Numerous fossils have proven that the sunken areas used to support plant and animal life before they descended. Arguments are still being made by several experts as to whether Zealandia is planet Earth's eighth continent or if it's too small to be considered as such. Well, it just goes to show you that information is always changing, and what's true today might not be true tomorrow. Ow. Mrs. Walker, who failed me in geology? <laughs> Number eight is metallic hydrogen. While 2017 was a year that saw more and more people wondering if the future of humanity was in outer space, at least one group saw success in developing a way to get there faster and more efficiently. 80 years ago, the idea of metallic hydrogen was brought forward by physicists, but since it doesn't exist on our planet, nobody could actually prove it was real. But in January of 2017, Harvard scientists actually managed to create some, and the results could change not only how we get into space, but how far we can go beyond Earth's gravity. Because right now, everything we send out there, the Earth is currently like, no, no, get, get over here, you. Metallic hydrogen conducts electricity, even at lower temperatures, and it's been theorized that it has three times the amount of fuel energy release, meaning that it will last longer than traditional rocket fuel. We could be sending people deep into space in our lifetime. Yeah, but do we really want to do that, though? I mean, I've seen Star Trek. There's a lot of weird stuff out there. Aliens with genitals on their knees and stuff. Yeah. Number seven are new particles. Although it was bigger news in 2008, when it was first turned on, the Large Hadron Collider continued to make history, including a scientific breakthrough it helped achieve in 2017. That breakthrough was the discovery of five new subatomic particles that apparently have hidden in plain sight until now. Physicists have speculated about the existence of these particles for many years, but until now, they haven't been able to prove that they're actually there, let alone actually see them. 
However, with the LHC's sensitive detector, the LHC Beauty, the evidence is now clear, and studying them could reveal how the centers of atoms are held together and could greatly improve our understanding of protons, neutrons, and multi-quark states. An amazing discovery, and it's a whole lot better than creating a black hole, because I have a lot of living to do. I don't want to die. I don't even have all the trophies yet in Mario Kart. I'm working on it, though. Number six is embryo editing. Although it's considered controversial, a new procedure is making it possible to actually manipulate life as future generations know it, specifically by saving their lives well before they're even in danger. On August 2nd, 2017, a team from Oregon Health and Science University released a paper to the public describing the experiment which consisted of the editing of the DNA in human embryos. The procedure can eliminate a heart condition that young athletes have been known to suffer from and can cause sudden death. Never before has gene editing been conducted on American soil, partly due to the fact that the use of federal funds for embryo research is forbidden. Still, they did it and they can fix all kinds of things. I'm gonna come back next video with a full head of hair. You just watch, okay. Number five are new planets. On February 22, 2017, a news conference was held at NASA's headquarters in Washington, D.C., in which it announced that seven new planets were found in our galaxy that could potentially be habitable to alien life, aka ET is real! Every single one of them is close to Earth in size. They're cooler than our planet, but are still temperate enough to have water and support living things. All seven of these exoplanets are in tight formation, orbiting an ultra-cool dwarf star known as TRAPPIST-1 in a neighboring solar system and are situated only 40 light years from us. In other words, this means that they're close enough to further study and NASA plans on doing that in detail. This is incredibly exciting because it could be the first place that we find intelligent life outside of Earth. I absolutely believe there's intelligent life out there. I also think they know of us and that's why we haven't met them yet because they look at us and they're like, Okay, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna avoid those creatures. They're crazy. Number four are recyclable rockets. Officially launched on February 6, 2018, the Falcon Heavy rocket was finally completed and moved to the launch site in December of 2017. The brainchild of billionaire CEO Elon Musk and his company SpaceX, these revolutionary space-reaching rockets feature boosters that, unlike traditional ones, can actually be reused. Before this, boosters would disengage from shuttles on the way to orbit and then come crashing back to Earth, most often ending up in the ocean. But these new booster systems land themselves on predetermined pads. The very first test on March 30th, 2017, saw a satellite reach orbit before the Falcon 9 booster landed itself on a drone ship in the Atlantic Ocean. This is incredible because this technology could save space programs as much as $18 million per launch. And that money can go to fixing roads and stuff. Have you ever been in LA? <laughs> we need it. Number three is fighting cancer. Every year seems to see the advancement of cancer research and treatment push forward, and 2017 was definitely no exception. Between August and October, two forms of cancer treatment were FDA approved, both of which are in the field of CAR T-cell therapy, a form of treatment that involves removing a patient's own cells from their body and altering them. These new super cells are then put back into the patient and proceed to attack cancer cells. And there are are still many other treatments in the field of CAR T-cell therapy being developed, and we're closer than ever to winning the fight against these devastating diseases. Okay, that is priority number one, but priority number two, could we maybe take these supercells and, I don't know, make them, you know, give us a six pack or something? Or just build muscle automatically while I can sit on the couch and be lazy? Number two is an artificial womb. 
On April 25th, 2017, a study was published in the Nature Communications Journal by Dr. Alan Flake, a fetal surgeon, and his team at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia that revealed the successful results of an experiment that they performed. The focus of this experiment was the biobag, an external artificial womb that can actually protect and help prematurely born babies. The bag simulates conditions inside a uterus, and the doctors observed eight developing sheep as they matured in them for months, as if they were still in their mother's wombs. Though it kind of looks like a giant Ziploc bag, which is kind of disturbing, the medical breakthrough could one day soon save lives of millions of newborns, and even mothers whose own health could be risked if they carried a child to term. I'm not gonna lie, this really reminds me of the promotional poster for Altered Carbon. It's a little disturbing. Exciting, but disturbing. And number one is a new life form. In an incredible turn of events, experts have brought humankind as close as it has ever been to creating a new and unique life form. On January 23rd, 2017, scientists in the United States published a report which revealed a breakthrough in biology. Researchers led by Floyd Romsberg at the Scripps Research Institute in California managed to modify E. coli microbes so that they can carry a new form of genetic material. Human DNA, like that of almost all other living things on this planet, consists of two different pairs of amino acids, known as AT and GC. But the scientists have actually developed a third pair, which they've dubbed XY and added to the molecules. This could be the first step in creating a life form that cannot be formed naturally. Okay, I've seen too many sci-fi movies to know where this goes. It's gonna create some blob-like creature that's just gonna grow uncontrollably and just consume everything. I'm out, too crazy. So those were the 10 most amazing scientific discoveries that you didn't know about, but now you do! And if you guys enjoyed this, remember to give it a big thumbs up. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel and click the bell beside the subscribe button so that you can enable notifications so that you never miss a thing because I release new videos all the time. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye now!